The truths in the Bible are hard won. The scripture says it is the glory of God to conceal a matter. It is the glory of kings to search it out. There are truths to be discovered in the Bible, but they are hard won. I believe that is by design. They are designed to only reveal themselves to you after much commitment, after much prayer, after much thoughtful consideration, after much meditation, even after much secular study. There are passages in the Bible that I have not even begun to try and understand. That is how deep and complex some of these truths are. Now, you laugh, maybe. You shouldn't. Keep in mind, the Bible, the text that I am talking about, unlike every other religious text, has the sole distinction of being the foundational text of Western civilization for at least a thousand years, debatably up until 1700. Think about that. Let me say that again real slowly and think about that. Really wrap your brain around that. The Bible has the sole distinction, unlike the Quran, unlike the Tao Te Ching, unlike the Upanishads, of being the foundational text of Western civilization. Now, we can debate about when that, when other texts appear to start grappling for dominance. I would say at least to the year 1000, at least till 1300, debatably to 1700. There are other texts that appear to take the place, but they do not gain any dominance against the Bible. You know, Plato's Republic, blah, 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 Aristotle, whatever. So, you can laugh about the Bible. It's an ignorant, it's a book of stupidity written by ignorant goat herders, blah, 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 blah. That's dumb. It is the foundational, central foundational text of Western civilization, period. It has that sole distinction. You say it's a book of fiction. Maybe. Dostoevsky is a book of fiction. Okay? I don't sneeze at Dostoevsky. I wrestle with the text. I try to really, really think about what he's saying and discover the hidden meanings therein. The, the, the Bible at least deserves the same amount of consideration, careful consideration, as Dostoevsky. At least. Dostoevsky, nobody would ever argue that Dostoevsky, that Crime and Punishment, or the Brothers Karamazov, is one of the foundational texts of Western civilization. Nobody would ever dispute that the Bible is. There's your difference. The, Dostoevsky is fiction. I approach Dostoevsky with some amount of trepidation, with some amount of humility, with some amount of this, this author probably knows stuff that I don't and I need to learn from this. So what is your excuse, think, what is your excuse for approaching the Bible with, with the spirit of haughtiness and pride, for approaching the Bible as you know better than it, because you can cite a couple of immoral passages, 200 or so? That's not a good enough excuse. Ultimate really, ultimately, really, there is no excuse. Humble your heart. Search the scriptures with an open mind and an open heart. And you will be amazed at the wisdom buried therein. That is, that is the lesson for today, kitties. Bye.